What I have for you on the show today is something that has appeared in no newspapers anywhere in the world, but it is sure to be in all the newspapers, perhaps by Monday. It will be up on my website, michaelsavage.com, within 15 minutes. It is a letter from the lawyer, the legal firm I have employed in London, one of the top media firms in London, and it is a letter of demand, a defamation complaint, against the Home Office Secretary, Jackie Smith. And you will read the letter, and you will see how I have been wronged. You will see that all of those who are suddenly saying a country has the right to ban anyone they want are really fascists in disguise. Now, I want to remind you of a few things here as a prelude to where I'm going today. 30 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, it would have been Lenny Bruce who was banned, let us say, in certain cities, perhaps even in England. I don't really know who banned him. 30 years ago, it might have been a poet. It might have been a rock band banned in a certain city or municipality. And all the liberals said, no, 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 that's a violation of the First Amendment. You can't ban the doors. You can't ban the sex pistols. You can't ban Lenny Bruce because it violates the First Amendment. And they were right. Meaning if you don't like it, don't watch it. Don't listen to it. But they have a right to be artists, to express themselves. Now that Michael Savage is the dissident, now that Michael Savage is the underdog, now that Michael Savage is the minority, the liberals are attacking me saying, ban him, ban him, ban him. These are not liberals. Don't you people understand who they are? These are the meanest people on the planet. All of these people on MSNBC are the type of people who put Solzhenitsyn into the labor camp in the Soviet Union. They may not speak Russian. They may not look Russian. They would say, oh, no, we would have stood up to Stalin. We would have stood up to Hitler. No, they would have worked for Stalin. They would have worked for Hitler. They would have worked for Hitler, putting Jews into the death camp. But you don't understand that, because they assign themselves halos. And so, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, be very, very careful who calls themselves liberal. Because if you scratch the surface of liberals, you often find something else.